Hey guys, welcome back to Altruist Farmstead. I'm Jen, and today I wanted to share one of my favorite recipes with you guys. I am making Zupa Toscana soup. If you guys have ever been to the Olive Garden and had the soup with sausage, bacon, potatoes, and a creamy broth, this is that recipe. I found this copycat recipe online probably 10 years ago and it's been one of my favorite soup recipes ever since. So I'm going to walk you through how I make it and because I want to keep this video short I've done all the prep work ahead of time so I'm just going to show you what I've done and tell you how to put, to put it together and that'll be it. For this recipe guys you can use the store-bought bacon bits but I don't like to use those personally. So I chopped up the bacon beforehand and now I'm frying it up to get it nice and crispy. I've already cooked the Italian sausage. You can use whatever brand is your favorite. You can use the Italian sausage links or you can use the ground Italian sausage like I did here. The better you drain it, the less grease you will have floating on the top of your soup at the end of it. So you can tell there's kind of a lot of grease in there. I'm actually going to take this and uh, dab it with paper towels and try to get as much grease out of it as I possibly can. I've already got my chicken broth in the pot getting hot. Obviously we have a big family so I'm making a big pot of soup because this stuff is so good that once you start eating it you can't stop until it's gone. I cheated and I used my food processor to slice these potatoes so they're already turning a little brown but it got them nice and thin. You can actually cut the potatoes however thick or thin you like. You can make them in chunks or you can slice them. It just depends on your personal preference but I made them thin because that's what my food processor does and it was quick and easy. So at the bottom of this bowl, uh, you can see I also have onion. You can use purple, yellow, white onion, it doesn't matter. Purple's just what I had on hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this into the chicken broth and get this started. Oh my goodness, that almost filled up that whole pot. Have I ever told you guys that I don't measure anything? <laughs> Crawling up a tree. Hmm. Yeah, so we caught it and then caught it. Now it's time to add the sausage. I would have worked on getting more grease out of this, but I ran out of paper towels, so this is as good as it's gonna get. So I'm not very good at cooking for a small crowd and I wanted to make plenty for us to have leftovers and I don't even know if it's all going to fit in this pot y'all. Alright, surprisingly enough, the only seasonings I'm going to put in this soup are salt, pepper, and some of the homemade garlic powder that I made a few months ago. It's so good. It's so much stronger than regular like store-bought garlic powder though. So I have to be careful how much I use, but anybody who knows me knows that I don't measure anything. I will put the recipe in the description below and it will have measurements. You can adjust how you see fit, but I just kind of do things my own way. So I'm just going to put some garlic powder in here. This is a big bowl of soup y'all, so or a big pot of soup. Whoa! Garlic powder everywhere. Add a little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. Stir it up. If you can't tell by the sweat on my face, it's hot in here. I've been putting off doing this recipe because, you know, it's been almost 100 degrees in Oklahoma and soup is not really something that you think of eating a whole lot of when it's really hot outside. But today's the day. There it is so far. It doesn't look that delicious yet, but it's got potatoes, onions, sausage, garlic powder, salt, pepper, 
and chicken broth and those are my only ingredients in here so far once the potatoes once the potatoes are finished cooking I will add heavy cream and kale and then it'll be done so guys I don't know if you can see it but there is some grease floating on the top of the soup personally I don't like a lot of greasy food but a little bit doesn't bother me so now is the stage where I add the cream and because this is a giant pot of soup I'm actually adding four of these little tiny things I bought it in the little container like this because that was the cheapest way to do it at the grocery store so I'm gonna add all four of these of course the recipe in the description is only for eight servings because I figure most people aren't cooking for a small army. But because I went ahead and made this recipe, I'm gonna go ahead and make enough for us to eat and have leftovers. So now you can see the grease a little better on there now that I added the cream in there. It's a delicious creamy broth, it's so good. The final touch is the kale. Now with the kale, I just sliced it. It's not in super small pieces or anything. The first time I had this soup was actually the first time I had ever had kale. And I fell in love with it. You just kind of mash it down in there and mix it up. Also, this recipe calls for fresh garlic cloves. But I didn't have any, so I substituted it with just garlic powder. And lastly, bacon. Mm, everything's better with bacon, right? Look at how hearty and delicious that looks. It's so good. I can't wait to eat it. So guys, here is the final product, and it smells so good. You guys have got to try this recipe. This soup is super easy to make. It's pretty affordable, and it's absolutely delicious. On top of that, it's hearty, and it will definitely fill you up. Here goes the taste test, y'all. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. So good. You can also add freshly grated Parmesan cheese to this, but I don't have any of that on hand, so I'm just going to go with what I've got, and I'm going to turn this off and enjoy this delicious meal. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, leave me a comment with your favorite soup recipe. And I will see you guys on the next video. I hope you enjoy. Have a blessed day.